Hi guys, it's me Katrina from Katrina's Creation. Thank you for stopping by and taking a look at my newest vlog for this week. Um, I want to just say a thank you and hello to my new subscribers. I know I've had a few this week so I want to say thank you to those and thank you for taking the time out to stop and have a look and see what's going on in Katrina's Creations channel. Um, last week when I did my vlog I had two whips works in progress. Um, I'm going to talk about one of them more so than the other today um, because I had um, me and my lovely self I watched a blog from Karen Hales and she said that she had um, a pattern that she'd written and she wanted someone some people to test them for her so I volunteered because that's what I do I just love crocheting I volunteered and she sent me the pattern and I based this was last Friday she sent it to me must have I can't remember what time she sent it to me but by the time I got it sat down printed it out read through it I was like, oh, I've got to start this. So I went into my lovely cupboard, one of my cupboards full of yarn. And I was going through all the different colours and me and my son was deciding what, and I didn't know what colours to use. And in the end, my son just chose five different colours. He's like, mum, use these. They go okay together, blah, blah, blah. So that's what I did. Um, Karen, I'm not the only person testing for Karen. She's got a, I know she's got another few people testing for her and once she's 100% happy she will release the pattern I don't think she's releasing it as a paid for pattern so um, keep a look out for that um, if you don't know who I'm talking about search um, casualistics in YouTube and you'll find her channel she's a lovely lady videos <laughs> I do love her videos they're so quirky it shows her personality the way that she does them um, yeah so go over to casualistics take a look at her channel once all the testing has been done and she's happy with the patterns and she's putting the patterns out and she's allowing people to know exactly what it is i will show the finished project it is finished it has been blocked it's been filled it's sitting nicely in my dining room waiting to have its five minutes of fame on youtube so um, when the time arrives i will put it up uh this week, obviously with that, that took a couple of days out. It would have taken, well, I would have done it quickly, but I started it late Friday night. I was up till about three o'clock doing it. Then Saturday night, well, Saturday daytime, it's just day-to-day -day stuff, cooking, cleaning, dogs, puppies. Um, I went out on Saturday night and, um, no, when did I go out? Friday. I went out Friday night. Hold on, how long have I had that pattern? Maybe I've had it more than a week then. I'm not sure. Or did I get it Thursday? I went out anyway. Yeah, I went out Friday. Yes, Friday night I did go out with um, my best friend Crystal. My sister was there with her friend. And um, it's the first time I've been out properly for about a year. And let's just say I drank a little too much alcohol because Saturday I didn't feel very good at all. I was not very good. I didn't even cook and I'm on Slimming Wells so I really should cook every day. And I do normally cook every day but like Saturday I was like no, not even alive, I'm not doing anything. So I just curled up on the sofa feeling sorry for myself and um, I didn't really do much crafting. So that's probably why it took me so long to do that cushion because I was an alcoholic for 24 hours. Um, once I'd finished that, when did I finish that? Sunday or Monday? Sunday or Monday. Once I'd finished that, I then went back on to my previous project that I was doing, or one of them, which was the top that I was doing for myself, which is just at the end of being finished. It's all put together at the moment. Where did I even put that? At the moment, I'm sewing in the loose ends. Ah, there it is. Because I had this inside it. And you know these, when you're a crafter, especially when it's 
knitted and crochet, you always have to sew in ends. These are like gold dust. If you misplace it, you're unlikely to find it. So, yeah. This is what I've got done so far. So, I basically, I went onto YouTube looking for a tutorial for something simple that I could make for myself. Um, I found this one on um, Bag A Day Crochet channel. I will link that video in the description. So um, yeah, Bag A Day, she's got loads of videos, um, tops, all sorts of stuff that you can go on there, you can have a look at and try. Um, I took her, I used her pattern loosely because as I said last week, the startup chain for this in the video, I'm sure it was 75, whereas I chained 95 because it was too short. With the airbags here, it would have been like a boob tube and um, that's too short. I want to be covered up. So um, I made it longer and in making it longer lengthwise, I also made these wider because I'm sure they were supposed to just be up that big and I added the extra rows and I did that on both sides. Um, once both your front and your back is done, she then says in the pattern to do a row of single crochet, double crochet if you're in the UK, all the way around both pieces just to finish off the edges, which I did. Then as I've before they were sewn together and I held it up and I thought, yeah, it will, it looks like it will fit, but the sides were a bit too tight. So I thought, just to give me a little bit of extra room, I twerked it. Not twerked, tweaked. I'm not, I'm not twerking, I don't twerk. <clears throat> so yeah, I tweaked and I added a side panel here. Five row side panels, just this row, this row, this row, this row, and this row. So I added that to the sides, on both sides. Um, I basically just joined, making sure that you do do it on the side that you're supposed to be starting on, because obviously there's a right side and there's a wrong side, and certain stitches need to be in a certain way. So carrying on the pattern and rejoining on the right side where you're supposed to be joining, I joined and I did my five rows. Well, no, I did four rows. Then on the fifth row, I joined it to the other front or back piece at, along as I was doing my fifth row. And I did that as join as you go. Um, I don't know if many people know how to do join as you go. It's quite complicated when you first learn how to do it. But once you get it, it's simple. Um, I learned that from the Heidi Bears pattern of the, the hippo that I did because on the last round of the hexagons, not the hexagons, what are they, African flowers, the last round of the African flower motif is a single crochet row, double crochet if you're in the UK, it was single crochet in it, I'm not seeing so have to think, but yeah, you join as you go and that is how the Heidi Bears... <laughs> The dog outside just barks and my dog's have to bark. Sorry about that. That's how the... Um... Come on, stop chewing my leg, mister. That's how the Heidi Bear... <coughs> it's okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, keep nose down. So, yeah, that's how they join... Heidi Bear's motifs together. You can do it like that, you can stitch them, I think. Alright, 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 go there, go there. So, um, yeah, that's how I did this. Sorry, I'm being overrun by dogs, as per usual. And this one, Diva, Diva. So, um, yeah, I added the panels to the side. And, um, one second. Sorry about that. It seems to be whenever I need to sit down and do my vlog, and I've got no children here, that every child wants to knock for them. Do you, do you mind? Hello? You're jumping all over me. Stay there. Oh, God, I can't cope today. So, um, 
yeah, that's how I, I joined the sides. Um, once I'd done that, I then, because I tried it on after, once I tried it on, the way that I'd done the sides, it was fine, it fitted lovely, but I, the amount of um, rows I did was a bit too short. And I didn't want to do it too long, because I've got big arms and then my arms not get through. So I did it too short. So in, in doing it too short, the only way that I could think of was to tweak it again, was a little block of single crochet. So I just picked up the stitches here again, did a few rows here with single crochets. And then when I, it was enough to cover there, because I don't want my bra to show when I'm wearing a top. Um, I then carried on the single crochets all the way round the arms. And I did that on both sides. And I did it around the bottom as well. So there is a couple rows of single crochet, double crochet if you're in the US, in the UK, not with it today. And so then after I did that, I thought, yeah, it's done. No, I tried it on, fits lovely down the side and everything. But because I'd added so many rows to the front, this bit here, it was like, you know, if you wear a top sometimes and they're too big and you get like that point there in your top, it was like it was sticking out like that. And I thought, no, 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 that won't do. So, good old single crochets, double crochets if you're in the UK. Um, I joined yarn again and I worked down here. Is that like the neck edge? It's like a neck edge, isn't it? So I, I went down and when I got onto the front panel bits in the corners I single crochet two together and then I did one single crochet and a decrease one single crochet decrease one and I did that all the way along for that that bit there for the front panel then once I got up to the other neck it was just single crochet all the way around to the back again until you got back down to that panel and I did the same decrease I did a decrease in the corner then one single crochet then a decrease and I did that all the way along um, I did and I it was all right and I thought maybe an, another couple decreases just to you know get it in a bit more so I did another row same way exactly the same way but this time I did a decrease in the corner as before and I did three single crochets a decrease three single crochets a decrease and I did that for both sides then I just did a normal round of single crochets just to finish it off and fastened off so at present I'm just in the middle of sewing in the last few ends and um, yeah there's a couple here as well just sewing them in and that is done so I finally managed to do something for myself which I was very happy about very very happy um, I used from start to finish with this project, it was a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. I'm sh think in the US that's a size I, but don't quote me, I'm not 100%. Um, and this was the yarn I used. So I got this yarn. I don't know if you can see that label there, because my love knitting. It's just a plain full band, really. Um, it says it's distributed by Kismet Yarns. Kismetyarns.co.za. ZA? Is that New Zealand or somewhere? I don't know. But um, yeah, it's 200 grams, 330 meters in length, 100% acrylic. So you can see that there. It probably comes up backwards for you. But. Um, it hasn't got any other, it hasn't got a dye lot or a colour, it's just a blank square. Um, but it is just a grey worsted Aran weight. Um, so yeah, I bought five skeins of these from eBay, it's about 12 or 13 pounds. Um, and I've used two and a half for that top. So I've got another two and a half to either make another one or find a different style, different stitch to make myself another top. So that will be on hold until I know what I'm doing. But I have another project that I've got to start. 
But I need to do the mermaid tail when I'm sitting here thinking, do I do the mermaid tail or do I start something? And that's the thing with being a crafter. There's always projects, there's so many projects, not enough time, not enough pairs of hands. I put that on my Facebook yesterday actually because like, that's how I feel. I just see these projects and I'm like, yes, I wouldn't do it. But I was saying a couple of weeks ago that I was looking for a pattern to do a unicorn for one of my godchildren. It's her birthday in August, which is not long away really. But I was looking and I was looking and I couldn't find any that I liked. I was been looking on, um, oh, I forgot to tell you about an order that I placed. It's not yarn, no, not yarn. But um, I'd looked on Purple Linda, I'd looked on eBay, I'd looked on Amazon. Um, I'd looked on, I'd just been Googling pictures, like of trying to find where the patterns are and what, and I just couldn't find anything I liked. And then by chance, I thought, let me log into my Ravelry and have a look. And by chance, I found a pattern. Um, this hasn't got any pattern details on the front because it is a paid pattern. I paid for this off of Ravelry. It was three dollars and sixty cents, something like that. Worked out to two pounds something. Um, but this is the unicorn that I found. Rainbows, cuddles, unicorn. So this is the one that I'm going to do for my goddaughter. And not only that. I will have the pattern, so if anyone, I, kids are a bit crazy about unicorn at the moment. So if anybody else wanted me to make one for them, I have the pattern. So, um, yes, I ordered that yesterday. I'm thinking, what's today? Friday. I might sit and start this later, because tomorrow is my dad's birthday. So I'm over at my dad's tomorrow, and I'm sure there will be alcohol involved again. Yeah, self-inflicted, I know I do it to myself. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, uh, Purple Linda. Um, I hear um, those people talking about Purple Linda. You've got Jan and you've got Sean from Crafty, Sean's Crafty Corner. You've got Kim from Blue Cherub 82. Like, they all talk about Purple Linda. And I've looked a few times to see what bits she's got. But it was the other day when I watched a video that Jan did. I'm sure Sue was with her. And there was a pattern book that she had for women's tops, crocheted women's tops. And she said that she gave the um, pattern reference number and who it was by, the brand, I think it was Peyton's. So I thought, oh, that looked, because the patterns that she'd done, they were very nice. And she's managed to make them into bigger sizes. So I was thinking, obviously, it can't be that hard. So I thought, I'll have a look for it. So um, I Googled. And it came up in Purple Linda's shop. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I found it in Purple Linda's. And there was another one that I found that was plus size crochet patterns that I also ordered. So those, when did I order them? A few days ago. So I'm just wasting on notes. So I haven't ordered yarn for myself. I've been really good. But I do need to buy yarn. Um, I was supposed to go out today and get a few bits. It's my sister's birthday and she's told me that she wants to make her daughter a few bits. So um, I need, I was going to go and get her some yarn for her birthday in different girly colours so that she can do something for my niece. Um, but yeah, I haven't bought any yarns for myself. Um, I've still got an empty box over there sitting, waiting for me to um, sort out my yarn stash. My yarn stash is fully out of control but once my um old son moves out i'm having his room as a craft room <laughs> i keep telling him when are you moving out i need your room but no i'm joking um yeah i've just got to go through my yarn stash because it's absolutely ridiculous i've got so much yarn and there's so much of it just sitting around not being used and i know that it could be put to better use um for charities like woolly hugs so um, I'm going to <coughs> get a box together. I've got the box there. And I know I can fit quite a bit in that box. So I'm going to get the box together and I'm going to put a load of different yarns in there that I'm not using and I'm sending them to Karen. I will do that in the next couple of days. It's just been so much because I am supposed to be starting to decorate my bedroom as well, which I haven't even started. I keep looking at it. Like, yeah, I'm going to do it. And I haven't done it. And um, the thing is, is I need to do it because it's bright pink and 
pink's all right, but I'm not that kind of pinky person. I can't deal with bright pink. So I literally just go in my room, I go to sleep and I wake up. I don't really spend any time. I need to decorate it. It's driving me crazy. But it's just like, if I go and start decorating, I can't crochet. Because I've got one pair of hands. But um, yeah, so that will be getting done. Hopefully. I bet I'll be here in six weeks still saying, yeah, I've got to go and decorate my room this week. And that's the way I've done it. Um, so, um, hmm. My TV likes to do things by itself. Yeah, that's about it craft-wise at the moment. What is going on with this TV? One second. Done. So I've had my TV on pause for so long. Um, it's I think it's been on pause for an hour, so it unpauses itself and starts playing, so I've just had to sort it out. I did record, this is the third time I've recorded this video. It's the first time I recorded it. <clears throat> the dog started barking and messing about. So I stopped, I thought, right, I'll do it again. I was only about 10 minutes in, not too bad. I can go through everything all over again. The second time I tried to record, my sister turned up with my nieces and her friend and my godchildren. And I was like, oh, and I was about 10 minutes in that time as well. So I stopped. I'm going to have to do it again. Then you'll see with this video, I started front door knocks. <laughs> it's my other godchildren that have come to see my son to play. He's not here. I'm like, Ugh. everyone just keeps coming to me today, and I just wanted to get this done and get it on YouTube so that I haven't got anything else to do apart from crochet. But you know, I've cleaned up today, I've sorted out the dogs. I don't know if you can hear them. Let me see if I can. You see them? Look at them, greedy. Poor mum's there sleeping on my coat. So I've got to go out as well. Because my um, younger son's over my friend's house having a sleepover, and I've got to go and take him his some stuff and some money. My older son's. I couldn't tell you. He's about somewhere. He's out. So, um, yeah, it's nice and peaceful until everyone wants to come around. My house is like the local community centre. Everyone brings their kids and comes around and stays here. And, you know, it's just one of those places. But um, it is nice every now and then to get a bit of peace and quiet. So, yeah, that's about it, really. Um, I don't know what to do. I think I'm maybe going to... Maybe I might start this because obviously it's done in part so you've got the head the ears the horn the body feet tail so maybe what i could do is do one part of the unicorn then go and do a couple of rows of the mermaid tail then do another part and that way i'll get bits done let's see we'll see how it goes I just have to try it and see. Um, I'm just trying to think if there's anything else I've got to mention. Um, I don't think there is at present. No. Um, I have had a few people commenting on the videos, which is lovely. I love all the comments. But a couple of them have come through as spam. And um, as I've said before, I'm not good with technology like I know how to use my phone and I know how to do certain bits but it's come up as spam and every time I click to go onto the comment it takes me to my video but the comment is not at the bottom um and I don't know how to get to them to reply I have no clue if someone knows how to get to spam messages to reply please let me know um to the people that actually did comment I'm not ignoring you sorry I really ain't ignoring you I just really don't know how to reply as spam. It was two people that um, had left, I think because they put a link into the comment, it marked it as spam. Um, they was asking me to follow them on Instagram, but I can't actually get to the message to see what proper links were to go and have a look, um, whatever, because it's kind of a spam. I have no clue. I don't know. It's I see um, Karen linking videos for people to watch on that little eye thing at the top of the screen. I'm just like, how do you do it? I don't know. 
I really don't know. <laughs> I know how to do what I know how to do, and that's as good as it gets, really. But, um, yeah, I am getting there. Um, all messages that I get on any of my videos, I will reply to. Sometimes it takes me a bit long, because it's just hectic sometimes with the two divas, plus the six puppies, plus my oldest diva and my younger son. Um, it's hard work sometimes. I'm trying to get the house clean and it's like early when I was mopping the floor and as I'm mopping the floor, the puppies are following me and they're getting footprints in it and I'm like, well, do it again now. It just drives you crazy. Hopefully they just go to sleep. <laughs> but um, I'm going swimming as well because I try to go swimming once a week and try to keep active really, try and lose weight. But um, it's just hectic. And with the kids being off school, the house is just always in a mess because I've got the two laziest boys in the whole world. I hope that people you sell gets better as they get older. They was lying. It does not get better as they get older. It gets worse. When they're babies and they're touching, you can just pick them up and move them or put the stuff up so they can't reach it. It's not too bad. But once they're a teenager, they've got this. They've always got an answer for everything. And the thing is, especially my older son, he's very much like me. He likes the last word, but I like the last word and I'm winning all the time. He isn't. So, um, yeah, it gets worse. It gets worse. I'm, I'm, my older son, I guarantee you from now, <laughs> my son in about 20 years time from now will be on one of them programs called Hoarders Buried Alive or something like that because this child simply does not know how to clean up after himself. If you was to look at his room, I actually, it's just got to the point now where I just keep the door closed. It's just better to just close the door. It's not there, it's invisible. I can't see it because it drives me crazy. What's the matter, baby? Why are you crying? Why are you crying? You wanna come and say hello? Look, little baby. Hello. Hey. You finished drinking now? Oh, don't cry, don't cry. No, don't cry, little boy. You're too cute. You're too cute. You're too cute. Yes. Aww. See, they make you so broody, but I can't help. I've got two. If I keep them, I'm gonna end up like the old dog lady. I really am. So, right, well, that's it for me. My phone's ringing. So I'm going to go and I'll see you all very soon. Take care. Carry on crafting.